everything I had thought was gonna work out didn't work out. And then I'm over here painting a display case when I know I need to be selling something. All right, check out how it's looking now. We've done some work and we got all this stuff set up here. We got the display case. I'm pretty happy with the way it came out overall. I think that it's a big difference from when we picked it up and all the little fine details that I did when I was like cleaning out the rubber or whatever was in there and putting in the new black stuff, you know, putting the vinyl on the side. I think all of that came out pretty good. Here's what's underneath the display case. Gross. I got to the point where like, I was really stressing over little things about, oh, there's a little mark here. There's, and I just had to give it up because I'm like, look, this is not a new case. It's not gonna be a new case. You gotta, you know, sometimes good is good enough. You know what I mean? It's good, it's good enough. Let's go. This paint is like magic. Look at that stuff. Whew. Who would have thought a card separator like this could actually be used to clean the display case. We're getting under here and we're just, we have to lift this glass up and push, getting all those little layers of dust out from underneath. So far it's looking pretty good. I think the biggest thing about the case project is that it took me away from all the other stuff I needed to be doing. And I just found myself getting frustrated because uh, there were things about the case that needed to be done. The legs needed to be painted, the stripping needed to be redone, you know, the vinyl, I had the, that was a learning curve about how to put the vinyl on. And so while I'm doing all that, like I should be selling magic cards. I should be marketing the new store. And I'm in here with a paintbrush and it just frustrated me because it was one of those things that needed to be done before I could move forward with the plans. Because I'm self-employed, because the business is what is providing for the household, there's always this balance where, you know, money comes from the business into the house uh, the house uses it for the expenses, and then we have some amount of money in the business to reinvest. And part of the reason I've been doing this, I, I made the jump to the store, is to get more bandwidth to build that capital up. And it it disrupted the balance between the household funds and the business, because now the business is carrying much more weight. And what happened this week is that I was expecting money to come through for the house that wasn't related to the business. And so I, I thought, oh, when this money comes through, the house will be stable and then the business can take a beating, right? The business could take a beating financially and then as long as the house is stable, I'm cool. We'll just rebuild the business as we start to get open and, and kind of, you know, stabilize. What happened is we didn't, none of that money came through. It's not coming through. And so... Now the house is in trouble and the business is in trouble. And how do I move forward? Because I felt like I wasn't getting anywhere on either front. You know, it's like everything I had, everything I had thought was going to work out didn't work out. And then I'm over here painting a display case when I know I need to be selling something. But like, it's a catch 22. Cause if I stop painting the display case and go sell something that just, prolongs the opening, it prolongs. And so it was a bad week. It was a bad week and it all culminated in me dropping one of these glass uh, shelf. I was putting it in the display case and I dropped it and it broke. And I was just like, I need to take a step back and just you know breathe because it was one of those weeks that I just felt like everything was kind of closing in. All right, we were trying to put the glass into the display case and we had a mishap so uh sad day oh man it it nicked this is really gross it nicked the um the padding i had down oh I'll cut the padding rip all right well it is what it is we're all in at this point you know We've, we've already put the money in, the business is already moving forward. So we just have to, we have to just go through it. You know, there's no, there's no retreating. You can't retreat back, you know. Does a card store need a display case? That is a really good question. 
Usually I have a reason for why I do something. I say, oh, I'm doing this because of this. And to be honest, the reason I did a display case is because card stores have display cases. I didn't really think about why does a card store have display case? But when you're asking me that, I think a display case is important to a card store because so much of what we do is visual. And as card players, we're drawn to visual aesthetics. We're drawn to something that looks cool. Why do people want a masterpiece soul ring instead of just a regular soul ring? It's, it's the, you know, it's what you see, right? It's the aesthetics of it. I think another thing that a display case does is it kind of signals to the customer what kind of inventory you have or what kind of store you are, the different things that you have in there are the kind of things that you want to draw interest, right? Now, if I had in the display case, a bunch of like lower price cards, you know, maybe just, or maybe like a bunch of modern cards, you know, let's just say non-foil modern cards. You might say, oh, this store is a store for, you know, competitive modern players. Cause there's just all, you know, fetch lands and like, you know, just the kind of stuff that goes in, in modern decks. Or, you know, right now I have a lot of pricey commander cards, right? And so it might feel like, oh, this is a place for commander players. You know, they, it signals some cool, you know, centerpieces for my deck that I can put in my commander deck to bling it out or whatever. Before you might remember it's, it was white. There was dirt all in the corners. You might remember the, the gross, uh, like, I don't know what that was. I guess it was foam or something up at the top. We got all that replaced with black foam. We put some, uh, some black lining on the, on the bottom there, filled it up with expensive cards and some nice uh, collector booster boxes. Uh, we also put the vinyl on the side here so that brown isn't sticking out. It doesn't match the ugly chair anymore. And then we installed our, our shelves. You know, when we first came in, I said, you know, there's gonna be shelves here. So what we did is we got some shelves from Ikea. You know, this was like, per they fit perfectly in the space, which I love. I didn't want a bunch of extra space on each side. You know, everything so far has matched pretty well. And that's kind of what I want. I want continuity throughout the whole store. I don't want the store to look like it's been kind of pieced together like Frankenstein, even though it has been, you know, like, as you can see, I mean, we got this white cabinet, you know, we got this other stuff. And uh, yeah, we have been piecing it together, but I don't want it to look that way, you know? We got our sleeves, uh, deck boxes, binders, and then some dice in the display case. So ready to rock and roll. I think it's looking good. I'm very happy with the way everything came out. The store's gonna have an effect. There's gonna be walk-in traffic. There'll be stuff we sell. I don't think that will overtake the online stuff, but what it will also do is give us the ability to put more inventory up and so it's possible that eBay takes more income or it'll give me, it'll free me up when people, other people are helping me by entering stuff and doing the kind of stuff that I would be doing. That will free me up to market on other social media platforms. Maybe we'll see more direct sales. Maybe direct website sales become the main income, you know? And so I'm not sure what's going to happen. This is our point of sale system. It's run by an iPad. The iPad is connected to the receipt printer. The receipt printer is connected to the cash drawer and this also connects to the Shopify uh, card reader here. And so all of these things connect. If you go here and say open drawer, it's going to tell the receipt printer to open the drawer. Boom. Now we get, we get that there. This is running Shopify POS. We can look up cards here. You can see the Vampiric Tutor retro frame. Uh, we can add that to a, to a order and then uh, go back and now you see it's added to the order. Uh, if you want to check out, you can hit that and then, you know, you go through your different cash options. So yeah, this is it. You know, keyboard is for, you know, typing things in if we want to look up lightning bolt or something like that. Also, you need to spell it right, but yeah. Now that the case is done and the point of sale system is set up, essentially I can do some soft opening kind of events. You know, just having people up having them come by, see the shop. You know, we have our tables and chairs in, we have our shelves in, we have our case and our point of sale, but now I can start having people come up. And so the idea is to have some friends come up, maybe play some commander, maybe just start letting people know, oh yeah, come on up. And, and you know, cause I do a lot of buying, a lot of that kind of stuff. Hey, if you're gonna come sell me something, come to the store and sell it. Come, let's meet up at the store. And starting getting people used to coming around.
This is the first magic game that's going to occur at the Alchemist Refuge. And so to commemorate that, we're going to do the table peel. That means we're going to take the sticker off. And once we take the sticker off, there's no going back. We are not going to be able to return it to Sam's Club. All right, let's see if I can do it without leaving any white. Okay, let's see. Ready? I just want to pull it fast. Hey. Yeah, all right. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your games. Thank you for watching this episode. There will be more to come, so make sure to subscribe to the channel and like the video. More information about my business, Alchemist Refuge, is on the screen and in the description. I hope to see you next time. Bye.